Hello everybody and welcome to Mathematics with Marlene. Today we will be learning how to add and subtract positive and negative integers. But before we do that, let's just quickly take a step back to last week's video and look at one concept. When we look at this number line with positive and negative integers, we know from our last video that as we go to the right, the numbers get bigger and bigger. And as we go to the left, the numbers get smaller and smaller. If you don't know the basics of integers yet, I would suggest that you quickly go and look at that video before you come and continue with this video. Now when we add and subtract positive and negative integers, there are four rules we should keep in mind. Let's look at the first rule. When we add a positive integer, you will add the integer. Let's look at a few examples. Let's say we have 2 plus 3. 3 is a positive integer. There's not a negative sign in front of the 3. 3 is positive. So 2 plus the positive integer 3 will just be 2 plus 3. So let's have a look. 2 plus 3 will give us 5. Let's look at another example. Negative 5 plus 2. 2 is a positive integer, so it just stays negative 5 plus 2. So let's look at it on the number line. Negative 5 plus 2 will give me negative 3. Let's look at this one. It may seem a bit different, but it's actually exactly the same. Positive 4 is exactly the same as 4. So if we add a positive number, we will just add the number. Okay, so now let's look on the number line. Negative 2 plus 4 is 2. Now let's look at the next rule. When we add a negative integer, we are simply going to subtract the integer. So for example, we have 5 plus negative 3. That only means when we add a negative integer, we are simply going to subtract the integer. So 5 minus 3 is 2. Now let's look at another example. We have 1 plus negative 2. Plus negative 2 simply means 1 minus 2. So let's look at this one. 1 minus 2. That will be negative 1. And the last example of this rule Negative 1 plus negative 4 simply means negative 1 minus 4. Now let's have a look at it on the number line. Negative 1 minus 4 is negative 5. Now let's look at the third rule. When we are subtracting a positive integer, we are simply going to subtract the integer. Let's look at a few examples. 5 minus positive 3 is simply going to be 5 minus 3. Now let's look at that on the number line. 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. Now let's look at another example. 0 minus positive 2 can simply be written as let's have a look on the number line 0 minus 2 
is negative 2. And the last example, negative 2 minus positive 2 can be written as negative 2 minus 2. And let's have a look at that, negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4. Now let's have a look at the last rule. When you are subtracting a negative integer, you are simply going to add the integer. Let's have a look at a few examples. 4 minus negative 1 can simply be written as 4 plus 1. Now let's have a look on the number line. 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. And the next example, negative 1 minus negative 3 can be written as negative 1 plus 3. Now let's look on the number line. Negative 1 plus 3 is equal to 2. And now for the last example, negative 6 minus negative 4 can be written as negative 6 plus 4. Let's have a look. Negative 6 plus 4 is equal to negative 2. So let's just quickly recap the four rules when adding and subtracting integers. Rule number one, when you add a positive integer, you will add the integer. Number two, when you add a negative integer, you will subtract the integer. Number three, when you subtract a positive integer, you will subtract the integer. And number four, if you subtract a negative integer, you will add the integer. Now let's try a few examples without the use of a number line. Let's look at the first example. 12 plus positive 4. When you add a positive integer, you're simply going to add the integer. So you can write it as 12 plus 4, and 12 plus 4 is 16. Number 2. Negative 4 plus negative 5. When you add a negative integer, you're simply going to subtract the integer. So you can simply write it as negative 4 minus 5. And that is equal to negative 9. Number 3. 5 minus positive 10. When you subtract a positive integer, you're going to subtract the integer. So it's going to be 5 minus 10. And that is negative 5. And example number 4, negative 2 minus negative 4, you can write it as negative 2 plus 4 because if you subtract a negative integer, you're going to add the integer and that is equal to 2. If you want to practice adding and subtracting integers, you can find a link in the description box below to an exercise and a memo and also the notes of this video. If this video helped you, please don't forget to like this video and also to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any other questions regarding adding and subtracting of integers or something you would like me to explain in the next video, leave it down in the comments below. See you in my next video.